Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel for another Sims 3 CC Finds Showcase. And today I am going to be showing you some things for males, because as we all know, in The Sims 3 or just any Sims game in general, it is so difficult to find good male custom content. At least it is for me anyways. It's always like so, so hard to find it. The struggle is real. It's like a holy grail when you can actually find good male custom content. And so I went through and I scoured the internet and I found quite a few things that I would like to show off to you guys. And so if you see anything in this video that you would like to have for yourself, then I will go ahead and link a CC Finds list down in the description so that you can easily access it if you wanted to. And then I will also have my CC Finds Tumblr linked down below as well as it always is because I have reblogged everything that I'm going to be showing you in this video over there. So yeah, there's a couple different options that you can choose to do if you, like I said, see anything that you would like to have for yourself. So I have around 25 things to show you guys and so we're going to go ahead and jump on into it. And so I am going to be using Mr. Joshua Burke as my model today just because I didn't really have any other sims kind of made up or anything. So if you notice him and if you recognize him, he is from my university and my ambitions let's play. So he might look a little bit familiar to some of you, but yeah, we're just going to be using him today. So we're going to be starting off with some hairs. So I only have hairs and clothing items to show you guys. I don't really have any shoes or accessories or anything like that. So that is going to be another project for a different day. So yeah, we're just going to start off with this hair that he is currently rocking right here. It is this beautiful, beautiful side swept hair and I am absolutely in love with it. It is just too cute and I had to have this in my game. And also some of these are not exactly new pieces of CC. They are are somewhere lost to the world in my CC Finds launcher. I have no idea where they are. So if I'm not clicking on certain things to show you, then that is why. You've probably seen them in my videos a million and one times before. So just to clear that up a little bit, but... Yeah, this is the first hair and I loved it the minute I saw it and I had to have it. And then this next hair that I have to show you is a little bit wonky. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit wonky because you need to have the accessory beanie that goes with it. Otherwise, it's going to look a lot like this. <laughs> so you have to go in to the clothing and you have to go in to your accessories to kind of get to this little beanie thingy. So yeah, it is right here and this is what it looks like with the beanie. Definitely a lot better. And you can go in and you can also customize the color for this beanie. You can make it lighter, you can make it darker, you can basically make it to whatever your heart desires. So yeah, that is what that looks like, but I am just going to leave it black just because I feel like it looks a little bit better that way. So yeah, we got this. And then I'm actually just going to go ahead and take that right back off because it will glitch with the next hair <laughs> because it was specifically made for, um, for this, you know, this hair that he, that he is rocking. <laughs> but yeah, then the next one that I have to show you is this one right here. And this is actually supposed to have a bandana with it. I'm fairly certain that you can see that in the little thumbnail right here. And I think you have to go back into the accessories in order to get to the bandana. This is what it looks like. I love this hair. I have been abusing this hair ever since I got it. And it is just too too cute. I love how it's just like all forward and everything and then it has like the 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 cut undercut basically I think is what it is. So yeah, I just I just really like it. It's very interesting and it's very different to what I would normally use, but I like it. So <laughs> and then we also have this one right here. Another beautiful beautiful hair. I absolutely love it. And then we also have this one right here, which is another undercut type of hair. It's just kind of swooped to the back. It has a nice, a nice bit of volume, I do have to say. I love this on him. It is so gorgeous. And then let's see, I don't think this one is new. No, it's not. Okay, so we have this one right here. And I think this is the last hair that I have to show you. I was a little bit impartial to this one when I very first saw it just because I'm not really one to like 
have hair in my sims faces like this occasionally i will but not normally it's not normal for for my specific sim style but i really like this one it's very different it's very unique i feel to my style anyways but i wanted to try i wanted to try it out and give it a fair shot and i actually really really like it so we have that one and then i think this last one right here yeah, we have this one right here, which is the very, very last hair that I have to show you. It's a nice kind of medium length, wavy, messy-ish type of hairstyle and another hair that goes absolutely perfect on him. I think it just looks so good. And yeah, I think that kind of wraps up the hair. And so now we are going to check out some clothing. So a couple of pieces that he is currently rocking are these two right here. And as you can probably see, the sweater is glitching out just a tad bit. Bit, but I promise that only happens in create a sim. I don't know what exactly it is I think it's just like the shadows or something like that But this whole like thing that you're seeing along the arms and along the shoulders and everything that only happens in create a sim It doesn't happen in game. So you don't have to worry about that The only thing that I don't really like about it is that it glitches out with these pants that he's wearing So I'm hoping that it's not like that with all the pants that I have to show you but um yeah, I just really liked this sweater. It really looks so comfy and cozy and just, I really like it. Like, you can definitely wear it for winter and just those nice, cold, chilly fall days. And I really liked that. And then I also have this sweater right here, this oversized sweater right here to show you guys. And so I really wanted to go in and check out a couple of the presets. So we have this really beautiful dark red one right here. We also have a black color as well. They all kind of just look the same, to, to be perfectly honest. And then we also have a bright orange color. We have red, we have blue. And then of course, oh, actually, no, I was about to say, of course, you can go in and customize it to your heart's desire, but apparently you can't. <laughs> so I'm lying. I am lying a little bit right there. But yeah, I have this oversized sweater right here. And then I also have this t-shirt as well. Just these cute little Adidas t-shirts. They're kind of plain Jane, but I mean, I really like them. So I wanted to show them off as well. And then we also have this sweater. And this is, I believe, another one of those uh, pieces of CC where it only looks like this in Create a Sim, which kind of sucks because this is like where I'm showcasing everything. But um, yeah, this only looks like this in Create a Sim. It doesn't look like this in game. So that's a plus. <laughs> and then I also have this shirt right here, which I am not actually too into Star Wars. I'm not going to lie. Some of you probably just like died in your chair but yeah I'm not really into Star Wars I've never really have been but I really really liked this shirt and I thought that it was really cool so I wanted to download this as well so this is what that looks like and then I also have some tank tops here now this one looks a little funky I'm not exactly a fan of it but I am really a fan of like these ones right here the graphic kind of tank tops and then we also have this one and then we have this one as well and finally this one here so yeah there's a few different presets to kind of choose from and I really like these other ones over here more so than the first one. <laughs> and then we also have another little sweater right here. And you can obviously customize this one as well. You can change up the color. And then there's also a couple of different patterns to choose from as well. And then we also got some Christmassy type patterns as well. So if you would like to download this for like those ugly Christmas sweater parties that your Sims sometimes like to throw, then you can definitely have your pick of the lot with this one right here. <laughs> So yeah, I really like that. And then let's see here. We have this one. So these ones are a bunch of like pop goes metal type of shirt. So we have like a Shakira, which obviously Shakira is not metal, but this person took a whole bunch of bands and artists like that, that do mainly pop music. And they turned the, the shirt into like a metal art cover if they were to do metal. So we have Shakira and then we have like Aqua who does the Barbie girl song. And then we got Cher and Smash Mouth, of course, but we got to have Shrek in there. <laughs> Every time I think of that song from Smash Mouth, I just have to think of Shrek just because of them using the song in the movie. 
And then we also have In Sync. We have Britney Spears and Spice Girls. We have some more Spice Girls. So yeah, I just thought that it was super cute and quirky that they decided to turn like all these pop bands into like metal. And I just thought that was really funny. So I had to have that. And then we also have some more ugly sweaters that are just so amazing that I had to get them. So this is from Adventure Time, as you could probably already tell. And then we just got some stripes, some more stripes. We got some solids and some, I think this would be like another Christmassy type sweater. Winter is coming. And then we have like Kale, which I think is the name of the website that I got this uh, top from. It's like Kale something. It's one of the Wix websites. I know that much, but yeah, we got that. And then we also have, let's see here, just a couple more. So we have another little sweater right here. As you can see, I was really feeling the sweaters because I think it was really cold when I was downloading all this stuff. And I was like, damn, I'm sure cold. And I just saw these sweaters and I was like, wow, that would really be warm right about now. <laughs> So yeah, I think that's why I got a whole bunch of sweaters, but then we also have some more band tees and then we got some all-time low band tees. Who out there loves all-time low? Because I sure do. I really like that band. I've been like obsessed with them since I found them years ago and it's just been love ever since. <laughs> And then finally, last but not least, we have yet another sweater. Yes, you guessed it. <laughs> and this one, for some reason, is actually showing the presets in Create a Sim right here without me having to, like, go into the create a pattern or customize option or whatever it is but yeah so this is just what this looks like and you can obviously customize this one as well you can like add your own little pattern to it color it whatever color you want and all that kind of stuff so that is what that looks like and so now we are going to let me see here I am going to put him into one of these little adidas shirts here and I'm going to move on to some bottoms so one of these uh this pair of bottoms right here is one of the kinds that I wanted to show you guys. It's just this nice little skinny jean kind of kind of style going on here. We have a little bit of glitching right down here down at the, or not so much glitching, but like clipping down at the bottom of the pant leg right here, but that's not really that big of a deal. I mean, I could honestly look over that because I like them as a whole. So we have that. And then we also have some, uh, cuffed jeans with some holes in the knees. I really like these style of jeans as well, just in general for like my males and my females. I really like the ripped jeans, so I had to grab these. And then we also have another pair right here, which also have some holes in the knees, but they just aren't cuffed. And so this is what these look like. And then I also have this pair right here, which kind of looks a little funky, especially right down here. Like you can definitely see your ankles. <laughs> Me and me and one of my uh, friends at the time, we always used to call these flood watcher jeans because <laughs> you'd like roll up your jeans or something so that you wouldn't get the bottom of your pants wet in case of a flood or something. We always used to call these flood watcher jeans. So <laughs> that's what I always like to call them. And I just find it super funny, but I really liked how, how they looked in general. Like I said, I like skinny jeans and these would definitely go well with a couple pairs of shoes that I have, like, especially high top style shoes, like, um, like Timber Timberland boots, if you have those from Pixie Cat, or if you have like just high top Nike shoes or something, they would definitely go good with that. Or even like Doc Martens, I think they would look really good with that. And then we also have these pair right here, which are kind of about the same flood watcher jeans. <laughs> and then they are cuffed as well. And I just really liked how these ones looked as well. They may look a little bit funky on him. I'm not going to lie. This isn't exactly his style, but I mean, he's my model today. So I'm kind of, he's like my guinea pig. <laughs> so yeah, I really liked these ones. And then finally, we have another pair of kind of skinny jeans. These, one look, these ones look more like corduroy jeans. And uh, yeah, these are just kind of what these look like. So we got quite a few different color options to choose from. We even got gradient, guys. We even got gradient. <laughs> so yeah, we have that. And then I don't believe I have any actual outfits to show you guys just because are there even any good outfits for males because I've never been able to find them. <laughs> I have never been able to find them, but I think that kind of wraps everything up and I just kind of feel 
like showing you guys what these like what these kind of jeans would look like with like sh the recommended shoes i guess so like if you have converse then that would look a little bit better i do have to say and then like with these timberlands right here they look a lot they look really really good with these so that's just my own personal opinion you guys some of you guys might not like it i personally like this kind of style on men so yeah that's just kind of what that would look like with these kind of shoes but anyways i do think like i said that kind of wraps everything up so I'm gonna go ahead and roll on out I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video and I do hope that this helped you out a little bit and helped you find some male CC that you would maybe like to have in your own personal game and like I said at the beginning of the video if you saw anything that you would like I will have a CC finds list down in the description as well as my CC finds tumblr so yeah thank you guys so very much for watching please don't forget to go ahead and leave me your comments down below and hit that thumbs up button if you did enjoy the video and if you are new and you have not already and you would like to go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you know when I upload and I will talk to you guys in the very very next video all right bye guys